everyone. So uh, it's a pity that Jason uh, is not here today, but we have a new student here, Ethan. Let's Ooh. welcome him. Okay, Ethan. Okay, can you introduce yourself to your classmates? Uh, my name is Ethan, and hi. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you like to do in your in your free time? What do you like to do in your well, free time? I like to watch some movies. Ah, such <laughs> play as? some games uh, uh, such as uh -huh. superhero movies. Ah, okay, very good. So you are a fan of Marvel films, right? Marvel and DC. Okay, lovely. Okay, so now how's your weekend, Lorenzo? Oh, uh, I think my weekend was uh, not bad because I went to uh, went to Zoom with my parents and oh, yeah, we visited many animals like my favorite animal panda. So mm -hmm. he was very very cute. Okay, lovely. Okay, so in the last lesson, we talk about some building design, remember, in reading. Okay, so we talk about Pompidou Center. Still remember? Where is it? Can you remember? Uh, it's a, it's it's a building it's like built by... Piano, right? So uh, where is yeah. it? Where is it? I think it's French. Yes, it's Friend. in Paris, France, right? Okay, good. So we are going to listen something about... Um, the buildings, okay. Before that, I have a question for you. Now, let's look at this picture. What's the building and where is it? Bird it's, nest. it's a bird nest, okay. So, where is it? Beijing. It's in Beijing, okay. Good. We have another name for it. You said it's a bird nest. Why? Why do you say it's a bird nest? It's like it looks a bird nest. Like bird nest. Uh, yeah, it looks like a bird nest, right? Bird. Okay, we have another name of it. Okay, so can you read that for me, please, Carlos? National Stadium. Okay, very good. National Stadium. Okay, read after me, everyone. Stadium. Stadium. Mm, close your mouth. Stadium. Very good, you said stadium. Okay, so, okay, now, so do you think it's beautiful? Yes. Okay, you like the lights? Yes. Okay. Very good. I think it's very, very beautiful. Okay, have you been, ever been there? No, no. Okay, so now discuss with your partner and say as many as possible okay, about the national stadium. Okay, okay so uh, anything, say like uh, when it was built and who designed it. Okay, how much do you think it costs? Okay, now talk to your partners. Okay, so you two and you two. Just guess, just guess. Don't look at them in that Just guess. Anything, any information. In China. Oh, 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 and it had, it's really it had, it had, um, yeah. had, had a uh, Olympics before. Oh. Ah, okay, very good. So now, um, Ethan, would you like to try? Huh? Tell us anything you know about the National oh, Stadium. The Olympics, <laughs> two thousand and eight. Uh -huh. The Olympics it was held in this stadium. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay, and any other things? And. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more information. We like to try, Mark. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark. Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Do you think it's big? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's very big, right? Yeah. Okay, so now, uh, in your handout, okay, on your handout, page one, turn to page one <coughs> on your handout. Yes, you have a very short passage about the oh, about the national stadium here. And you are going to read it very quickly and answer these five questions, okay? Do it by yourself, okay? You have three minutes. You can underline the answer in the short passage if you don't want to write down, okay?
can be. Artistic consultant. Ai Weiwei. Ai Weiwei. Ai Weiwei. Do you know him? No, no. Okay, he's a very famous artist. Okay, so who? What was removed? Retractable roof. What does it mean? Retractable roof. Okay, be moved like this. Inside and outside, right? Okay, good. Okay, so when did it open? Twenty eight. 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 Twenty Does the speaker have a positive or negative attitude? Okay. Does she think it's good or bad? All right. Okay. Thirty seconds left. Ten. 
10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, now compare answers with the partner this time. Ethan, you go with Mark. Okay, and Lorenzo, you go with Klaus. Compare answers. Uh, Have you got the same answer? Basically, normal. Almost. <laughs> okay, almost the same? Yeah. All right, lovely. Okay, so now uh, let's check the answer. So for the first first section, background details, right? So have you underlined the words background details? Yes. Yes or no? Yeah, most of you didn't, right? Okay. Why? Why do you need to underline background details? Because it's it's e it's clearly presented that there are three sections here, yeah. right? So these are very important words to tell you where the speech goes, yeah. right? Okay, so you need to know that. All right, so the first one is background details. And of course, the second one will be general impressions. And this one? Inside. 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 Lovely, okay. So the first one, have you got the same answer? Not physically connected. Yes. Okay, and hold. Yeah. Okay, and the number also horizontal, right? What's the meaning of horizontal? Is it like this or like this? Which one? This. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. So this one. Okay, sorry. So this one is horizontal, right? Okay, so what about this one? Like what? Vertical. Vertical. Cool. Cool. Okay, very good. Okay, now next one. General impressions. Okay, they got the same answer. Seen from shaken size, built on a and bird's nest. Okay, you can. So, do you all agree? Yeah. Okay, it can be easily found out that it's all around the gaps, right? The words around the gaps are the key words, right? Okay, so the last one also. And if you like entering roof panels, cool, what does it mean, panels? Panels. Um. Is it a flat thing or is it uh, something that is... You can, you can speak in Chinese, that's okay. Panels, no? Panels, okay. Panels is panels is something like this. It's flat. Okay, and you can have many things on the panels. Okay. Okay, very good. So now we have more words to know. Okay, so this one. Okay, beans. What are beans? Okay, what's this? Beans. Beans. Yes, very good. These <laughs> are beans, okay? Or, well, okay, what's it made of? What's it made of? Steel. Steel, Steel right? Okay, very good. And who are they? Spain. Is, uh, so Spain. Spain. No. Very good, Spain. very close. Spectators. 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 Very good. Spectators. Okay, we have to Spectators. 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 Okay, another word for it is what? Watcher. Watchers. Okay. Cool. Another another word. Audience. Audience. Okay, very good. Okay. Audience, right? Lovely. Okay, so the first one we underline the keywords, we figure out the words we don't know. What is the second step? What's the second step? Check the word limit. Mm. Check no, the, the word limit. Uh what word you should put on the blank? Very good. We are going to guess the predict the information we need, right? Okay, so now turn to page three on the handout. We have some okay, we have some descriptions here from A to J. You are going to match A to J with the gap one to ten. Okay? Now do it by yourself, please. Okay, Mark, you can only answer five, that will be fine, okay? Okay? Read A to J and match it with 1 to 10. You have 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. For okay. example, this one is the form and appearance of the stadium. You see, this one is the correct answer for number seven. Oh. Okay, so match the letters, the descriptions. Okay. This ten. Three, two, one. Now work with your partner. Don't compare answers. Work with your partner together. Yeah. Together to find out the answers. Okay? You two and you two discuss a little bit to find out the answers. Work together, okay? Okay, so everyone together, work out with work out the answers, please. You four together, discuss. Work out the answer. Come on. I think B is one. B is one. And C is nine. No, 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 no. B is three. B is three. B is three. 
<laughs> Structural part or section. Oh, yeah, B is 2. <laughs> wow. wow! Wow, wow, wow. What about 1? 1? 1 is for J. 1 is for J. Yeah. No. Mm. <laughs> I think C is 9. What about B? B. B. B is, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the number of parts. I didn't see anything about number. Think about the paraphrases. Paraphrasing? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. What is for E? No one, no one, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lovely. So who would like to come to the ball and write down his answer? Uh, <laughs>
How do you know? Why? Why is why is why is ten? Why is ten? Because what can I see? Let in, right? Yes. Let something in, right? Let yeah. in. So comes in two. Good. All right. So now we have underlined the keywords, and these are all the paraphrases. What's the meaning of paraphrases? In Chinese, that will be fine. Uh, no. Yes, very good. So do they have the same meaning? When yes. Something yes. Are paraphrasing. Yes, very good. They have the same meaning, right? So these are the paraphrasing for the answer, but we still have some words of the key lines, right? We underline the key words here, right? Okay, so can you predict? Predict the paraphrases for these words. Why do we need to predict? Why? The answer will not give you a the direct answer. You have to paraphrase the word. Or because the words here for the keywords may not be the same as you will hear in the recording. Yes. Right? For example, here you say inspired by Chinese ceramics. Probably in the recording you will hear inspiration. Okay? Now do they have the same meaning? The same, right? Yeah. Okay, so now please work with your partner this time together to predict the paraphrases for these uh, key words, okay? In the questions, okay? Now, um, you two and you two. Magical becoming. <laughs> <laughs> Not physically, magically, one well, cool. Not physically. Physically, physically disconnected. He's <laughs> already connected. <laughs> physically disconnected. <laughs> very good guess, very good guess, okay? Yes, physically disconnected. <laughs> just try, just try, okay? What about holy? Cage. Cage. Contain. Yes. Use. See from the context, okay? Guess from the context, okay? Use. Use. Um, Probably sometimes. Work. Active to <laughs> passive. Active to passive. Like. Use the. <laughs> passive, what's the meaning of passive? They don't. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Probably sometimes. <clears throat> Cost spent. Same from. It's okay if you have no ideas, okay? Just. Mm -hmm.
Probably, okay? Yeah, I'm trying to paraphrase. Good idea. <coughs> and the uh, entering the paraphrase, getting. Mm -hmm. And the last one, making. Okay, very good, very good guess, okay? So, we do the prediction of the paraphrases is to tell us, is to tell us that probably they will use the words we guess in the recording, right? Okay, probably not, but if you try your best to predict the paraphrases, it will be easy for you to understand the whole speech, okay? So, what is the last step? What is the last step? Can we start listening, do the listening type right now? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, we are going to focus on what Ethan said before, the word limit. So tell me, how many words you can use? Two words. No more, no than, more two than two words. words. So no more than two words. So can you use three words? No. 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 Can you use one word? Yes. yes. Can you use one number? Yes. yes. One word and one number? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. One word and one number. Okay. Can you use two words and one number? Yes. Mark. Two words and one yes. number. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about one word, two numbers? No. 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 Okay. So you know the combinations of the answer. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So can you change the words? that you hear from the recordings? No, no, no. Okay, so if it's a plural form, like friends, mm -hmm. are you going to write down the S? Yes. yes, right, okay. Write down exactly what you heard in the recordings, okay? So, last time, how many sections here? Three. Three sections, um. right? So you need to be focused on the signal words, right? Okay, so now we are going to listen and then this time do it by yourself, okay? So for Mark, you can only finish the first two, okay? Background details and general impressions, okay? Unit 10, track 22. Good morning, everyone. Today, as part of our 21st century architecture series, I'm going to tell you a bit about a remarkable structure which I'm sure you're all familiar with. The stadium that was built for the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Okay, let's start with a few background details. The stadium was designed by Herzog and de Meuron, a firm of architects from Switzerland. They studied Chinese ceramics, uh, plates, cups and bowls to get inspiration. The stadium is actually two structures which are completely separate from each other. In the middle there's the seating area which was originally designed for a hundred thousand spectators but this had to be reduced to ninety thousand. Around this area is the frame which is made of 110,000 tons of steel in horizontal beams and vertical columns. The architects wanted the roof to open and close, but they changed it because it could have been dangerous if there was an earthquake. The big advantage of changing it was that it reduced the cost by several million dollars, although the building still came to an incredible $423 million. So what makes this stadium such an amazing building? Let's start with the general impression it creates. For this, the best place to look at it is from a distance. Why from a distance? Well, that's where you will really get an impression of what it looks like and how big it is. You'll also notice how it really stands out in its surroundings. This is not just because of its size, and it is big, but also because it stands on a low hill, which helps make it higher than any other buildings in the area. Then there's its unusual shape, which has helped to give it its nickname of the bird's nest. The unusual shape
shape of the stadium also does something else. You see, if you stare at it for long enough, you also get the impression that this structure isn't standing still, that it's moving in different directions, almost like it's a living, breathing creature. This is especially true at night, when the stadium is lit up from inside with lights that continually change colour. In the stadium, everything changes. There are visitor entrances all around the outside. And as you enter, you get the impression that you're walking into a forest. And not just any forest, but something magical from a children's story. As you cross towards the spectator area, coloured light comes through the clear roof panels, creating strange pools of light and shadow. Now you're no longer in a forest, but on a set that's been built for a fantasy film. It really is a remarkable experience. And it's only once you're inside the spectator area that you finally realise you're in a sports stadium. Okay, 30 seconds to write down your answer, to rewrite your answer. Okay, 30 seconds to think of your answer. Okay, you four all together. So compare answers with two your partners. Mm. Two structures. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Number one. Mm. Two structures. Two structures. Two structures, yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Number two is 90,000. Three feet. Mm. Four. Four hundred and twenty three meters. Mm. Meters. Okay, okay. And the five distance. But only one per number. Mm -hmm. okay. This is a number, uh, 423 million. Can I? Uh, mm -hmm. Is that okay? Can you write down a number? Yes, I, well, I thought one number was like one, two, three. <coughs> no, it's the whole number. Okay. 200, the 423 is the one number as well, okay? Mm -hmm. That makes sense, no? Mm -hmm. Number five, distance. Mm. Six, long mm -hmm. view. Mm. Seven, the unusual shape. Unusual shape. Five is unusual shape. Mm. Eight. No idea. It's moving. Moving. No idea. <laughs> moving. Mine is moving. Number nine, forest. Mm. What's here? No idea. Shadow. <laughs> Shadow. Okay, so Lorenzo, do you get to the board and write down your answers from you guys? Uh, the answer from you guys, okay? Be careful with your spelling, okay? different ideas from the seven and this one number ten 
Yes, somebody says it's not sure. Okay, now we are going to listen to the recording again, but this time sections by section, okay? To check your answer, right? Okay, now let's get started. First, the section one. Unit 10, track 22. Good morning, everyone. Today, as part of our 21st century architecture series, I'm going to tell you a bit about a remarkable structure which I'm sure you're all familiar with. The stadium that was built for the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Okay, let's start with a few background details. The stadium was designed by Herzog and de Meuron, a firm of architects from Switzerland. They studied Chinese ceramics, uh, plates, cups and bowls to get inspiration. The stadium is actually two structures which are completely separate from each other. In the middle there's the seating area which was originally designed for a hundred thousand spectators but this had to be reduced to ninety thousand. Around this area is the frame which is made of 110,000 tons of steel in horizontal beams and vertical columns. The architects wanted the roof to open and close, but they changed it because it could have been dangerous if there was an earthquake. The big advantage of changing it was that it reduced the cost by several million dollars although the building still came to an incredible $423 million. Okay, so let's check. So the first one, two structures, is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But the spelling, can you spell that for me, Lorenzo? S-T-R-U-C-T-U-R-E-S. Very good. So be careful with your spellings, okay? It's kind of illegible. I can't read it quite clearly, okay? <laughs> Very good. So this one, 90,000. Yes. I think it's 100,000. You think it's 100,000? Uh, yes. Reduced, reduced to 90,000. Yes. It has to be reduced. Yeah. It, is, it is designed to hold. Yeah, Designed to 10,000 or 100,000, then it reduced yeah. to 90,000. So we can actually eat this. Okay, so let's listen again the mm -hmm. sentence, okay? <coughs> Og and de Meuron, a firm of architects from Switzerland, bold <coughs> to get inspiration. The stadium is actually two structures which are completely separate from each other. In the middle, there's the seating area, which was originally designed for 100,000 spectators, but this had to be reduced to 90,000. So, how many words here? You have two numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So, 100,000 and 90,000. Why do we choose this one? Originally, yeah, designed. originally designed, but we have a signal word, but right, so it has to be reduced, right? Okay, so at last it's 90,000. Are we going to write down S here? No, no, no. Why is it over one? So if you're not sure, if you're not sure in uh, IELTS writing, it will be probably better to write numbers in Arabic way, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't write in the uh, English way, okay? Cool, okay? So, next one. So, so we don't have to, we don't have to check the rest, right? But here, are you going to write down millions? No. Do you hear S? No. No, so no millions, okay? Cool, now let's move to general impressions, okay? But they changed it because it could have been dangerous if there was an earthquake. The big advantage of changing it was that it reduced the cost by several million dollars, although the building still came to an incredible $423 million. So 
What makes this stadium such an amazing building? Let's start with the general impression it creates. For this, the best place to look at it is from a distance. Why from a distance? Well, that's where you will really get an impression of what it looks like and how big it is. You'll also notice how it really stands out in its surroundings. This is not just because of its size, and it is big, but also because it stands on a low hill, which helps make it higher than any other buildings in the area. Then there's its unusual shape, which has helped to give it its nickname of the bird's nest. The unusual shape of the stadium also does something else. You see, if you stare at it for long enough, you also get the impression that this structure isn't standing still, that it's moving in different directions, almost like it's a living, breathing creature. This is especially true at night, when the stadium is lit up from inside with lights that continually change colour. Okay, so now let's focus on number seven. So is it shape or we have a different idea? It's unusual shape. Very good. Wow. Unusual shape. Okay, so for this one, I remember, okay, so when I walked around, Ethan says, you're not sure, so are you sure this time? Is it moving? Yes, moving. Okay, it's moving. So now we are going to continue to listen to the third part and figure out the correct answer for number 10, okay? It's a bit difficult, right? Okay. In the stadium, everything changes. There are visitor entrances all around the outside. And as you enter, you get the impression that you're walking into a forest. And not just any forest, but something magical from a children's story. As you cross towards the spectator area, coloured light comes through the clear roof panels, creating strange pools of light and shadow. Now you're no longer in a forest, but on a set that's been built for a fantasy film. It really is a remarkable experience. And it's only once you're inside the spectator area that you finally realize you're in a sports stadium. Oh. Okay, so discuss with your partner about the last one. Mm. So, what's your opinion? If you got. Uh, Caroline. Yeah, Caroline. Okay, so Ethan. <laughs> okay, Ethan, would you like to come to the board and write down the answer for us, the last one? Write down, write down the answer. 
predict. Paraphrase. Paraphrase. Uh, predict the. Uh, huh? Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did he do on the second stage? On the second stage. He did a match, right? He did a match. Uh. That's for what? Together, compare answers. Have you got Green question is carefully and underline keyboard. Predict. <laughs> Predict what word she put on the blank. Mm. Uh, three. Predict paraphrase words for the keywords. Mm -hmm. Four word limits. Five. Write down the word exactly in the recording. Mm -hmm. Six. Trade a spelling and grammar. Oh. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yeah. Do you agree? <laughs> okay, so this time, uh, Mark, would you like to try to answer the question number one? We, what, what do we need to do in the beginning? Read the question carefully and underline the keyword. Very good, this is what we did, right? Exactly. Okay, so number two, Klaus, uh, what do we need to do? Uh, we, do the, we did a match, right? Yeah. So that's for what? Uh, the <laughs> We're going to guess the, guess the, the, what? What? the answer, right? We've got, we are going to predict. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we're going to predict the information, like part of speech, okay, like nouns, verbs, or adjectives, and the contents, okay? Okay, and number three, Lorenzo? Predict paraphrase Okay, number four, number five, Ethan, please. Word limit, write down the word exactly in the recording. Yeah, exactly. So if there's an S, we need to write down the S. If there is a D, we need to write down the correct words, right? So the last one, everyone together, we need to check. So spelling, spelling grammar. and grammar, okay? <laughs> Be careful, okay? So Lorenzo, especially you. Be careful with your spelling, especially mm -hmm. okay, your writing, your handwriting is not very good, okay? Cool, perfect. Alright, so before that, we predict the paraphrase for the keywords in the questions, right? Yeah. Okay, this time, please, okay, turn to page three on your handout. Okay, now this time, I'm going to ask you to listen again and this time focus on the paraphrase for these words, okay? You are going to listen and write down the paraphrase for the keywords in the questions. Okay, for Mark, you can you need to only uh, write down the first five. Okay, the first half. Okay, now let's listen again. Unit ten, track twenty two. Good morning, everyone. Today, as part of our 21st century architecture series, I'm going to tell you a bit about a remarkable structure which I'm sure you're all familiar with. The stadium that was built for the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Okay, let's start with a few background details. The stadium was designed by Herzog and de Meuron, a firm of architects from Switzerland. They studied Chinese ceramics, uh, plates, cups and bowls to get inspiration. The stadium is actually two structures which are completely separate from each other. In the middle there's the seating area 
which was originally designed for 100,000 spectators, but this had to be reduced to 90,000. Around this area is the frame, which is made of 110,000 tons of steel in horizontal beams and vertical columns. The architects wanted the roof to open and close, but they changed it because it could have been dangerous if there was an earthquake. The big advantage of changing it was that it reduced the cost by several million dollars, although the building still came to an incredible $423 million. So what makes this stadium such an amazing building? Let's start with the general impression it creates. For this, the best place to look at it is from a distance. Why from a distance? Well, that's where you will really get an impression of what it looks like and how big it is. You'll also notice how it really stands out in its surroundings. This is not just because of its size, and it is big, but also because it stands on a low hill, which helps make it higher than any other buildings in the area. Then there's its unusual shape, which has helped to give it its nickname of the bird's nest. The unusual shape of the stadium also does something else. You see, if you stare at it for long enough, you also get the impression that this structure isn't standing still, that it's moving in different directions, almost like it's a living, breathing creature. This is especially true at night, when the stadium is lit up from inside with lights that continually change colour. In the stadium, everything changes. There are visitor entrances all around the outside, and as you enter, you get the impression that you're walking into a forest. And not just any forest, but something magical from a children's story. As you cross towards the spectator area, coloured light comes through the clear roof panels, creating strange pools of light and shadow. Now you're no longer in a forest, but on a set that's been built for a fantasy film. It really is a remarkable experience, and it's only once you're inside the spectator area that you finally realise you're in a sports stadium. Cool. Okay, so compare answers with your partners, you four together. It's a bit difficult, right? That's okay. Now here's the transcript. You read the transcript and find out the answer, okay? You have three minutes to do it. Here's the transcript, okay? So the answers are already on the line, okay? You're just going to find out the paraphrases for the words here, okay? It's around the answers.
Now compare your answers with your partners this time. together, everyone. So number one, okay, not physically connected. So completely separate. Completely separated. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can to hold. Design for. Design for. Cool. Okay. Use. Made of. Made of. Good. Cost. 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 Okay. And seen from. Look. Look at it. Okay. Good. Built. Stand on. Stands on. Cool, okay. Because? If it is. If it is. If it is. Okay, we can check it later. Okay, mm -hmm. next one. Get the impression. Get impression. Get, Get impression. Okay, next one. Walking into. Entering. Walking into. The last one left. Comes from. Comes from. from. Okay, now let's check. So number four, cost, we could have cost or bill, right? Bill also means money, right? Here. And number eight, get the impression, get the impression. And number seven, okay, because give it its nickname. Where is it? Where is it? Where it is has it? helped to give it its nickname. Very good, very good. Okay, so we we learn something about the bird's nest. It's a national stadium, right? And we learn about the architecture, okay? The whole unit, okay? Now it is your time. Work as a group and you are going to design your own stadium. You are going to write down. Now, you are going to draw the stadium you design on your handout, page four. 
page four, and we are going to think about the details, general impressions, and insight. Okay, you can use the short passage we read in the beginning of the lesson, and you can also use the structure. You can also use the structure of the listening speech here. Three structures, and you are going to choose one. Representative to come to the board to draw and introduce your stadium. Okay, now you fall together, what as a group? Okay, stop drawing. What are you doing? That's okay. my design. Okay, very good. Now, come on, you fall together. Design only one stadium, that'll be fun. Okay, painter. 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 Animal stadium. I am pig stadium. Very cute. Dragon <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, come on, come on, talk to your partner. Background music. Uh, uh, sorry, background details, general impressions, and inside. Background detail, because no stadium in the world right now has an animal stadium, so we can sign a pig stadium. Or also you could have different different jobs. Probably one person talks about the background, one person talks about the general impression, and one no, person no. talks about the inside. And one person, probably Mark, you are responsible for drawing. Okay, when they talk, okay, you draw. Mm -hmm. All right. Talk it out. Okay, you can design, divide your job. Okay. It's a pig stadium. You just draw a stadium like a pig. Write down, write down the words you need. Write down the next information. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Background details. Mm -hmm. It's built because uh, there is no stadium in China that looks like an animal. Yes. A pig. It's very lovely, very cute. General impression. General impression. Pig, actually, you know, <laughs> when, you, when you look at a pig, you think he, he's a, they are very dumb animal and they are very slow. But actually, pig can run very fast. That means the architect can have a very good performance on running. Inside. Inside. So just draw a pig. Yes. What about inside? Inside, we have many... Uh, like swimming pool, uh, uh, basketball court, uh, football court, and we can contain one million uh, spectator. Mm. Car yeah. section. Inside. Inside. Does it have magic lights or? Yes, the, the ear of the pig can can fuse the <laughs> light, and the, the the nose of the pig uh, is like a tong fong tong It's like a window. It's like a window. Mm -hmm. The last bin comes from so this is about so people inside will not feel suffer. So. Feel hot inside. Yeah, they will not feel hot. Mm -hmm. And uncomfortable. Okay, so are you ready? Yes, who, yes. Who who is going to draw the stadium? Uh, Carol. Carol, you're going to draw the stadium. Draw painter. Draw the Okay, you come here. Painter, artist. Okay, who is going to introduce the stadium? Marky. Me. Okay, Lorenzo, you're going to introduce the stadium. Good. So have you got a name for that? <coughs> yes. Pig stadium. Okay. Super super pig. Super pig, okay, please. Pig, pig Continue your presentation, okay? Continue your introduction. Please, Lorenzo, you start first. Okay, so uh, the background of this stadium is that cause, uh, in the world to now, there's no stadium in the world that uh, looks like an animal. So we decided to design an animal stadium. Okay. And the impression from this. The names of it? Uh, the name of the stadium is uh, Super Pig Stadium. Okay. And the impression of designing this stadium is that 
uh, in our life we think uh, pig is a very pig are pigs are very dumb animal and they run very slowly. But actually, pig are very smart and they can run super fast. So that impress uh, that means that means that uh, we hope the uh, we hope those uh, runners can run can have a very good performance on their running. Right, uh, running match, mm -hmm. and also inside the stadium, mm -hmm. we have many courts like basketball, uh, basketball courts, football courts, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. pin, uh, ping pong, mm -hmm. and we we also can have a ping pong match at the inside mm -hmm. and many, uh, as many sport as you can think. How big is it? Yeah, uh, it, uh, we can have like one million uh, spectator, oh. and we also want to. We also decided to uh, add a shopping mall ah. inside, and also because um, in when when players when players are uh, playing basketball or some or football, they are awfully get in injured, 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 injured. So we also decided to set up a small hospital inside the stadium. Oh, yeah. wow! It's fully equipped. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, so how much will it cost? Uh, I, we estimate it because uh, <laughs> our one <laughs> 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 no, 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 not that much, but uh, at least one, at least ten, at least one hundred million. Okay, one one hundred million is one billion pounds. Yeah, units, units, dollars or pounds. Uh, Gold. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Dollar, uh, Canadian dollar. Canadian dollars. Why is Canadian dollars? Because I studied Canada. I've been studying Canada. Okay, very good. All right. So, okay. So uh, I think the name is a little bit different. I I remember you said super, super pig. Super pig. Super, super pig or piggy. Super pig. Super piggy. Super piggy. Okay. Super piggy. <laughs> Okay, so where are you going to do so, it? In Beijing, Shanghai, or? In Shanghai. In Nanning or Shanghai? In Nanning. In Nanning. Okay, why well, did you choose Nanning? Because Beijing already have a bird. Bird, bird nest. nest. Okay, so bird nest is not the animal? No. It's, it's a home. Yeah, animal. it's a home. It's home. <laughs> Okay, so home to animal. Okay, very good. So, okay, thank you for your presentation. I hope one day after you graduate from your universities, okay, probably like four years later, okay, you can, okay, accomplish your dream. Okay, oh, very yeah, good. Thank you, everyone. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Okay, this is the end of the lesson. Thank you. Very nice.